one taking the Times Square for the first time, showing them that, you know, because that's iconic. Um, we got to see the Statue of Liberty. We didn't go to the Statue of Liberty, but we wait a minute, see- skipped over. You skipped over that there. There was a photo of you guys in Times Square. Oh yeah. So yeah. So basically, what what I what I did was was you know yesterday or you know Tuesday, I guess. Um, I found out that I could get a billboard down in Times Square and I could put our family photo up on it. So I'm thinking, what a cool surprise to go down to Times Square and not only be down there in Times Square and taking up, you know, taking in all that great stuff that's going around, but being able to put our family picture up there and then take a photo and take a video of it. So, you know, I've actually got a hold of two different services that now when I go out there, that this was a pretty good billboard, but it was you know, kind of the smaller ones. But now I got the connection to one of the huge billboards and I can pick the time and everything. So I'm going to start running tight NAS down there, put our picture up there, you know, just get that visibility out there because there's so many impressions out there on the street where people are looking up at these different billboards. Um, it's just a really, really cool thing. And then when we went down there, we got a photographer and we did like a little mini photo shoot, you know, in Times Square of the family us walking, talking pictures and stuff like that. So really, really cool stuff all the way around. I mean, we went to one Vanderbilt, which is like the tallest building, I guess, in New York City now. So at that point, like you get to go all the way up to the 93rd floor and hang out up there. And they have like this balloon experience. They have these different rooms, you know, immersion rooms. But just looking at the city from up there and just going miles and miles of lights at night, like it's just that's all you see. There's no, there's no end to it. So, I mean, it was just like I said, really, really cool. Got to go see the Mets versus the Yankees the Subway Series first game of it down to Mets Stadium. So my, my son's a Mets fan. I'm not. So, of course, he's wearing a Mets jersey. Sharice is wearing a Mets jersey. And I'm wearing a Yankees jersey. <laughs> um, I, one cool thing that did happen out of that, though, he's wearing a Piazza World Series jersey. He likes Mike Piazza. And we've got these great seats behind home plate. So we got there before the game, like an hour before the game, because we want to see, you know, if anybody was going to sign anything, whatever it was. And actually, Mike Piazza was there. And Mike Piazza actually – came and took a selfie with Peter. Oh, that's Super cool. Super cool. So that, that's definitely cool. It was definitely a big one for him. You know, he was, he was starstruck at that point, which, which was really awesome. Watched the whole game. Mets hit four home runs. I couldn't believe it. And then judge hits a grand slam. I mean, it was just awesome uh, all the way around for baseball and to share the experience with him. And that was one of the main reasons we went down there, but it was just, it was cool all the way around. We got to get eat good New York food. His first New York slice of pizza. Went to all the good pizza spots, went over the Brooklyn Bridge, played like this uh, beat the bomb game, which is like this escape game, which you've seen the paint at the end. Like we got blasted with this paint, stuff like that. It was just cool, man. It was, it was cool. There's a lot of different things, you know, it's just super cool. We had a great time, you know, family bonding at its best, making those everlasting priceless memories that I always talk about with you. And uh, yeah, it was good, man. It was definitely good. He had a blast. So I'm happy. That was the main thing. I wanted him just to be happy enjoy it go get to go see new york get to go see his team and uh have a good time it was good it was good to see you uh i know you guys took off friday but i was, I was glad to see that you stayed not just saturday sunday but like monday and got yeah. some play time on tuesday and then came yeah. out i'm yeah. glad you enjoyed that trip yeah it's man, me too. To see somebody like you that works so hard shut it moderately down yeah get out of town because i know you still do work even when yeah. you vacation yeah um, i mean i was just doing my work in the morning so I was, I was getting up super early where they were kind of sleeping in a little bit you know and i just naturally i just naturally wake up early it just is what it is i don't care if i want to sleep in or not so i just did my work in the morning got the story up you know all the marketing done for facebook and instagram and all that answered the dms and then they were waking up i got my training in the afternoon so that was good most days um so yeah it was good it was definitely good it was good to shut down a little bit and like i said just spend time with him I love that. I love that. I know that. I don't know if you want to talk about it. Um, you did some preventative uh, health before you left town. Sure. Sure. Can yeah. You so about you want to wait to another time? No, 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 no. We can get it. I'm open book. Um, you know. So basically, before I left on Friday, um, if anybody doesn't know out there, I need a total shoulder replacement, right shoulder. So I'm bone on bone. I have no cartilage. I have arthritis all throughout my arm. And so, you know, I go see one of the top orthopedic specialists here in Tampa. He, uh, he's an orthopedic specialist for the, the Tampa Bay Rays. He does all the shoulders and all that. 
And, um, you know, he's been helping me out. He's a great doctor, Dr. Gasser, 30 years in practice, just knows everything. So, you know, I was talking, I'm like, listen, I'm like, you know, what else can I do? You know, obviously he's like, you know, you can shoot cortisone. I'm like, yeah, I can shoot cortisone. I was like, is there anything else that I can do out there that's possibly going to help? And, you know, he was like, listen, PRP will help a little bit, but he's, there's nothing that's going to regenerate that cartilage like that. So he did say that there was a gel and basically it adheres to where the cartilage would go that would possibly help soften the area so you wouldn't be in as much pain. And it takes like up to six weeks for this to bond to the material inside your shoulder. So um, I, I was like, hey, listen, I'm, I'm willing to give it a try for sure. So I went in Friday right before I was going to fly out to New York and I got the PRP done because he was going to do the gel anyway. He's like, oh, we'll just shoot PRP in there. Just if it helps, it helps. Great. So we shot that in there. We shot the gel in there. And um, I'm just waiting for it right now, I guess, to adhere. But it was something new that I'd never seen before. Um, you know, I've never seen gel put in somebody's shoulder. And listen, I'm not the top orthopedic specialist out there, so I, I'm not, I don't know everything. Um, but it was really cool to be able to, to learn that maybe there's a couple other things. And he says this is going to work for up to six months. So I'm going to give you guys a play-by-play -play over the next – I'm going to give it at least, you know, the six weeks to kick in. So let's say two months. And then at that point, listen, if I'm getting any relief or not, I'll tell you guys, because they do it on the knees, you know, any joint area you can possibly use it on. Is this and new? It, is this it was, somewhat it's approved for the knees. They use it off-label for my shoulder. But they're like, it's a joint. You know, same thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do it for in here. It's just we didn't do the studies on this. So, yeah, so I didn't know about this. And honestly, I don't know when it got approved. But the doctor told me it had been approved for a while. So, you know, like I said, that's something like that just – Oh my head and anybody i've ever talked to never brought this up to me you know like as a form of an option and honestly i want to know all the options out there you know and i asked them the, the straight questions if i go out of the country to one of these stem cell places will it help my shoulder you know and he's like listen he's like nothing's going to grow back a cartilage i don't care what stem cells are using and i like the honesty and transparency because you know some people have told me hey yeah stem cells are going to do the trick but I talked to a lot of people that get stem cell treatments out of the country and some it works great for and some it works for a limited time and that's it. Um, so, you know, it just, it's just, it's just that's, crazy. But technology say, that's, that's, that's one of those things. And, and you and I have talked about this so much. So, but anybody out there, uh, me and Johnny have talked about this, but it's the, the PRP or the stem cell. <laughs> Again, it, it works for some people incredibly well, and uh, I, I've, I've liked it. Um, uh, I did stem cell once. I did PRP a few times and stuff. Yeah, and, and and I agree with Johnny. There's there's a, a portion of time I think it really does, it it helped me. Yeah, it helped me. But I I think that uh, uh, again I'm at that age where I'm I'm cool with the. Uh, the grind i'm an old yeah. car that's still moving and i'm yeah. okay pushing it and so yeah. maybe maybe it's me but uh i like to believe that there's some way that it can help and so this this gel when you, you showed me i wanted to just jump into in depth on it i'm gonna wait be patient and hear from you over this next yeah. couple months on how it works yeah no definitely i'm definitely gonna tell you guys because i mean at that point you can utilize it i mean so i mean if it does help i mean that'll be a world of relief because, I mean, the problem is, is, like, listen, I can keep doing cortisone, not an issue, and I can mask the pain somehow. Like some a year, though? Huh? Cortisone is a couple times a year. Three times, usually. Four times max every three months you can do it. And, like, right now I'm, like, on four months going on so I can do my next shot if I really want to. We said after this gel, though, you're not supposed to do any NSAIDs or any corticosteroids for six weeks afterwards. So, obviously, I'm not going to do it for six weeks. But, you know, if I want to do cortisone in the future, I can do that. And massive pain. The problem is, yeah, I won't feel any pain. The issue is, is mobility. And that's my big problem. And that's the big issue that I have a problem with right here is because I can't lift my hand up or back any further. So, and even raising it, like even to put on deodorant, that's as high as I can go. I can't, I can't go any higher. So, you know, for me, I'm like, it's quality of life. So I'm talking like, mm, I'm like, should I get the shoulder replacement? Should I not get the shoulder replacement? And they're like, don't do it. Because you got to get another one 20 years, and you got to get another one 20 years. So if you live to, let's say, you be 80, you'd have to have three shoulder replacements in that time. And I told him, I'm like, well, I'm like, but is the quality of life between 40 and 60 important? Because 
I can't throw a baseball straight, right? I, I, I physically, my brain is telling me, I know I'm a baseball player. I know what to do. I, the mobility of my arm, I, I just restricted. So, you know, I'm contemplating it, man, because I want mobility. And I've talked to people that have shoulder replacements and, I, and I'm kind of scared with that because it's either good or bad. You know, so I've never seen anybody where it's all good. I've seen some people say, I've got more problems than I had before. Uh, right? I see somebody like, great, right? Huh? From the surgery? From the surgery, I guess. More problems. Yeah. So that's, man, they're both such a, a give and take. Stem cell yeah. works for some, moderately yeah. for others. PRP yeah. works for some. Surgeries, yeah. some people I've met, that, incredible. And then others, yeah. absolutely destroyed. It's like, oh. You know, I, I've talked to some MLB players that have had the shoulder replacement, like Peter's coach. He was a pitching guy. And uh, he's like, man, I feel, I feel like I'm buying a car, man. I feel like a million bucks. Like I'm in my twenties. So I'm like, damn, do I want to have that? Especially if we're going to have this kid, if I, if I do have this kid in the future, I'm going to definitely want to play baseball with him. And I'm definitely want to throw. Now I've been throwing on the shoulder with Peter batting practice for the last three years. So, I mean, it is what it is, I guess, if I have to do it like that, but I'm, I'm contemplating maybe the shoulder replacement. I don't know. I don't really want to be down either, but it is what it is. Yeah. I, uh, again, guys, we're just talking about like, uh, John's shoulders and doing PRP and stem cell. And he did a new gel last Friday. And so be sure to follow, just kind of keep an update and bug him and ask him over the next couple of weeks on how it's worked. Cause I'm going to, I'm going to bug him on that stuff as well. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I listen, I like the new technology. I like the new cutting edge, like medications, or things that are going to help us improve, especially if we have something that's wrong with us and we can help in a big, big way. Like we don't know these options out there. I mean, man, definitely 110%. I'm always looking for the newest, greatest, best thing, especially for regenerative medicine, you know, because that's the key. I mean, if we can stay younger, we stay healthier and prevent, then at that point we won't break down as much, or we can at least stay where we're at and not break down anymore. I see some of the questions people are talking about, like uh, my friend Ed Cohen uh, did some stem cell. He, he liked it. And yeah. um, I also know that he got some uh, uh, a hip, a uh, new hip and stuff. And so that was years back, but he's he's loving that. And he and I are close to the same age. Yeah. And that he, uh, again, that's that's the greatest power lifter of all time. Yeah. So you got to figure that he... Uh, he torqued his body pretty well and he's still moving and grooving. So that's, a, that's a good sign that that's something to do pricing wise. I don't know pricing. Somebody asked about pricing again. I don't think PRP is expensive. Uh, no. I think stem cells somewhat expensive, but again, somebody said something the other day that made me laugh and it's, it's, you'll get this Johnny. Somebody said, uh, um, I was getting re somebody ready for a contest. And somebody said, yeah, but the price is too much. And I said, no sweat, man. That's that's your opinion of what you're worth. That has nothing to do with me. Right. You know, it, it, go down to 24-hour fitness and get a trainer if that's what you want. If that's yeah. what you want. And so when you guys stay, is, is it pricey? I think regardless of the price, I'd rather pay for, for me stem cell, not knowing 100% that it will work relative to buying a new – fancy car for me yeah I do the stem cell just because this this car here needs to ride as best as possibly can and if it gets me one percent better i don't care what the price is i'll, I'll make sure yeah. to i'll take care of that and that's i agree go go i mean for sure 100 listen you have one body you better take care of it and you better maintenance it as best possible and if you have any opportunity to keep it up or make it any better you definitely gonna want to make that opportunity you know people talk a lot about price whether it's with me or with you or stem cells or whatever it is but you know is it going to provide value for you in a way that you probably can't get on your own absolutely 100 i mean and what do you put a price on your health and the way that you can move I mean, that, that's prices to me. That, that's the number one investment I would say across the board, you know, is yourself. Because if your body breaks down, then you really aren't doing anything. So you aren't providing for your family. You're not doing anything you like. You're not going out with that girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is. And you're just, you know, your quality of life is shot. And then at that point, now you're stuck in a, in a broke down body, like a broke down car. And then you have to repair it anyway. So you have to take it to the shop, which is the hospital. And at that point, get whatever surgery you need or medication, you know, to put into your body to make it better or to even let it run. Think about that. I mean, that sucks just in general, man. If you got to take medications to keep you alive, 
I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's at the end, but there's, there's people out there like that. Think about it. I mean, even if people have to get, um, you know, replacement of, uh, let's say an organ, they have to take anti-rejection medications every single day to make sure that that organ stays intact and their body is working properly. So, you know, don't, don't cheat yourself on your health and don't cheat yourself on being better. You're making yourself better because ultimately it's going to affect you in the end. It's interesting. I'm reading some of these comments and stuff, and I fully understand everything costs its price. Mm -hmm. And the, but I think some of the things that Johnny and me, I, I think, agree on, you got to change that mindset. It doesn't matter what it costs. Yeah. What you focus on, uh, just start working to get that relative to the Friday night dinners and parties and shit. Yep. I, I, yep. I don't know if you guys realize Titan Tuesday's talks and, and my talks with Johnny. We could do the nutrition and, and pinpoint that in the training. Ours is about the whole body throughout the, the ride you guys are going on. And that's what I'd like these conversations to be about. And it's about like Johnny being healthy enough and, and, and set himself up in a way to where he's working on having another little bambino, another little beast, another little somebody to his family. Now, right. that that's being right. said, He's still taking time right now to celebrate and go out with his family and enjoy and go on a freaking crazy fun trip yep. and still run his company. And so the whole concept here is we train and work out to make sure that the, the physique is what it is. But Johnny's all about the inside engine mm -hmm. and making sure we're healthy. And so if you guys yes. can't today, take focus on, on those questions on how to make sure that everything's working right. Your blood work is right. You're healthy. Right. Your your body is changing. If you didn't know, if you're on the right diet and on the right training, you will change every couple of weeks. You will visually see a difference. Now, if you've been training for a couple of weeks and you see nothing, no strength change, no no body change, no nothing, that means there's something off. And that could start right, right from the very beginning. Johnny, what could be the problems for somebody that's not changing? I mean, you can have hormonal deficiencies or, or problems there or something's off uh, imbalances. So, you know, testosterone could be low, estrogen could be high, cortisol could be low, cortisol could be high. Um, there's a number of different things. SHBG is high, low testosterone, or free testosterone is low. I mean, you got a lot of different things that could be happening with you. And as we age, all these hormones are going to de be declining and go deficient. And some imbalances could happen too as well. And even in young people. There can be imbalances in hormones. So if you are having problems and you're in the younger ages, in the mid-20s per se, and you're, you're seeing some of these bad problems or negative signs, check your hormones, right? It, it, it should be just a check. And if everything's good, awesome. And we need to work on nutrition. We need to work on training. We need to work on sleep and drinking water and, and getting that right, right? And then we can expedite some of these different results by using some of the different therapies, maybe ECA stack if you need more energy, Hercules potion, some of the peptides that are still around. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can utilize to enhance what you're doing or to expedite results, but you need to make sure one, everything is all good in the body, right? We, we checked it, we're good, that's all set. Now we have peace of mind. Now we know this is a fact, everything is good here. Now we're gonna look at those other pillars that we were talking about, the activity, the nutrition, the water, the sleeping. All right, cool, these are good. All right, awesome. Now, where can we expedite some of these different things? A, I want to do weight loss. A, I want to grow, grow lean more muscle mass. I want to think better. I want to sleep better. Some of these different aspects we can start looking at, and then we can start improving these different areas. And like building blocks, once we hit one goal, we can go to the next goal, and to the next goal, and to the next goal. And that way, we're not worried about hitting 10 different goals at the exact same time. I like going down a list, and we always talk about writing a list out and hitting it. Boom, 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 crossing each line out as we go and improving and um, ultimately being better for it. I mean, that's in anything you do, whether it's your business or your, your activity and you're knocking off those goals, you're ultimately going to be improving in whatever you're doing. Good questions here on the side here. Um, yes, your thyroid could be off. Uh, all of those, there's could be so many things that are off, but again, thyroid, yeah. I, didn't even talk I, about I, I can't yeah. tell you know, what's going on unless you do some blood work. Right. Unless you let us know how you're eating. Um, and again, living the lifestyle, like Johnny always says, the Titan lifestyle. So you could be training right. 
Uh, you could be eating right. Uh, you could be uh, uh, sleeping right. You could do all these things, and you're still hitting your head against the wall mm -hmm. because the body's not working with you. And it's interesting. I'm going to jump off subject right now because we just trained with a guy, and this week was his PR week. His okay. PR. Week. Now this is this is everybody. This is this is a young kid. Who also goes to Titan Medical. We have him on some uh, uh, HCG right now. I think it is, and some enclomiphene. Uh He's mid 30s. He had a low. Uh, he had a moderately low T level, but his free testosterone was very low. And within nine weeks, he put on 85 pounds on his squat. Wow. He That's just, good. He just smashed a 530 on a 12-inch box. And his wow. best ever in his life was uh, 455. So it's cool to see when the body works with you, mm -hmm. what can happen. And again, it's cool to see somebody in nine weeks. Again, he's going to put out 100 pounds on his squat. I mean, wow. how many people would like to go, hey, you know, I want to put 100 pounds on my bench and stuff. I, hey, I'd love it too. Right. This To be able to do that and see somebody that was hitting himself against the wall. Because mm -hmm. he was training right. He was sleeping right. He's in his 30s, so you think everything is fine. Life yeah. is perfect. I'm in my 30s. I got no issues whatsoever. Yeah. Then you find out his, his free test was at seven or something like that. It was like bottom of the bottom of the barrel. But yeah. the Tons team over this last couple of months have been working with him and got him set up to where his body is now naturally producing healthy t free testosterone and being used in that set. Um, and so it's it fun to see him in his 30s living his full life. Yeah. That was cool. How, how long was that change? The change was in nine weeks. That's it huge. Weeks. And I know that. Nine weeks. Yeah. It's nine weeks. It's like, you guys. Nine weeks was yesterday. It really was. <laughs> nine weeks was yesterday. It's one of those things you write that down and it's like that time goes past and you're nine weeks now and he's like this. So it's just cool to see. And he's a father, full job, um, uh, new girlfriend. I don't know if that was Titan Medical. She's benefiting from it. <laughs> <laughs> someone had to. Someone had to share that. Um, so yeah, join uh, Titan Medical. You get more lifts and a new girl. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a joke, guys. Sarcasm. That, that's so that cool. That being said, though, it's cool to see that. Now, I fully understand that a lot of you guys are saying that uh, uh, these things are expensive. Can I get some water? Um, and then you take this moment. Hey, Titan, you want to come say hi to everybody? I'd also want to know if the people that are saying it's expensive, hi. have they talked? Hi, buddy. Or are they just saying it's expensive because they've already implanted that, that block in their head. They've already committed to not wanting to change. So they're just saying, oh yeah, it's too expensive. I, I think that could be an assumption. I think that I was, I was trying to make that point. Just point was, are they just saying it's too expensive, um, mm -hmm. without knowing the aspect? And I guess I mean, you know, I, I listen, guys, I know, um, you know, what we do it for. We've never changed prices since the day we've started Titan Medical Center. So it's been almost 12 years and we haven't changed a price as far as raising prices. Um, even when prices have been raised on us in every aspect from shipping to pharmacies, materials, I mean, everything across the board has went up except for us. Um, and at that point, like what you get for it, the bang for the buck, I mean, you know, if you're let's say you're an out of state person and you're a guy an out of state person is going to pay 370 a month for testosterone, their aromatized inhibitors and clomiphene or HCG. And then their, their, their syringes, their, their needles, their shipping, everything out the door. So it's, it's fully to you and everything you need. But I always like to lay out everything I get. Cause some people are like I'm getting testosterone for $370. No, that's not what you're getting. You're getting three different medications, your syringes, your needles and everything along with that. And honestly, I don't know too many people across the board out there that do it like that. And even with the people that do do $99 a month, you're only getting testosterone. And that's that's the hook. And at that point, then you're going to get upcharged on some different things that they have. So, you know, are you going to get the support from those people, too? Because that's another aspect of this. 
who's monitoring you? Who's making sure that you're going to be okay? Who's making sure you're doing it right? Who can you call if you have a problem, an issue, and get a response just like that? There are not companies out there like do, that do that. I'm sorry. I know somebody's going under. Yeah. So, you know, for us, I mean, you get a lot of bang for the buck and there's value there. So, you know, can you do $30 a day or whatever it is, $40 a day, let's say. I, I think a lot of people could do that. And I think a lot of people can take some of the garbage out of what they don't need and apply to what they do need. And this is one thing that I know. I know people that don't make a lot of money, okay, that when they get on a program, they start feeling so good and it improves their quality of life so much that they find a way to pay for their therapies. And then they improve. I know guys that, that are salesmen that weren't doing that well. They had low energy. They couldn't think. It was just, they just weren't, they weren't with it. No motivation. Get on HRT, increase their sales, increase whatever they're doing as far as that goes. So, you know, if you feel better, you're going to perform better, whether it's your job or in the gym or whatever it is. If you feel bad, you're not going to do as good. And anybody that, that feels bad or has felt bad out there one time in their life, just think about when you're real sick and you don't, you don't, you're just like, Hey, I don't want to get out of bed. And I really don't feel like doing this. I'm, I'm lazy. Like it is what it is. So, you know, I'd say like, if it improves a, a good aspect of your quality of life, you'll definitely want to get on the program. It's the people that say, Oh, it's too expensive for me. And they have no idea what, what it's going to feel like to be on that program. So, you know, if you have low testosterone, that is one of the biggest negative things that could happen to a male. And at that point, if you live with low testosterone, I feel sorry for you. And I hope you get it checked and I hope you're healthy enough to get on testosterone replacement therapy because it will be a game changer for you. Just like it was a game changer for me and hundreds of thousands of other guys out there. Well, it's like the guy I was just talking about today that was here. Uh, and I, I want to jump off the subject for a sec because you, you made this. It took me back to something I saw last week. And it was a it was a discussion um, on stage. You had these uh, eight influencers and and they started arguing with each other, the influencers. And they're, they're at this big event, you know, how to make a million dollars, billion dollars, whatever. One of these kind of things. And, it, and the whole crowd I was just starting to laugh because. A couple of the guests or a couple of the speakers, sorry, were fighting with each other on what it truly means to be uh, successful. And, and so the reason I want to say what, what truly means to be successful is, is one individual is talking about it's about his family and, his, and his, his time with his kids and stuff. And the other one was talking about being muscular and tough and, and, and rich as anything. Um, and good looking. And uh, so it was interesting watching this because I, I saw something that really got me to think, I'm like, well, what is success? And it was just simply put the success is the guy that's living his life very happily. Yep. And the reason why I say that is these two guys are arguing about what success success is the individual's opinion of what success is. I'm right. assuming that, that you know, the Dalai Lama, the Buddha and stuff like that, very peaceful and, and, and with very little um, Minimum. things, yeah. was very happy relative to I have billionaire friends that are very stressed out right. and, and and just looks like it's a tough life and they have more money than I could ever fathom. Right. So what is success? And I, I go back to health. I think, in my opinion, is the number one to success, living a pain-free, healthy lifestyle and then doing with whatever you want with that physique and body. Right. But again, I think it starts with the mindset of going, whatever it takes for me to be healthy. And so I don't think financial should come into play ever. And then John's sitting here talking about how his prices are so reasonable. I don't even... It doesn't matter to me. You should take care of your health. And that's what true health. If you're healthy, you're not injured, you're, 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 you're living life, then you can enjoy it to the fullest capability. I'm sorry about going off on there, Johnny, but no, I love it. You're, right, you're absolutely right at that point. And so I know a lot of you guys are saying, well, I can't afford this, this, that, the other thing. It's like, well, then you're the person that's going to live in that, that, that ugly, 
hamster wheel mm -hmm. <laughs> where where Johnny's going to New York and enjoying the family and enjoying the time and healthy and free. And he's living through these things like the shoulder we talked about. Yeah. It's a full circle back to the shoulder, but he's trying to take care of that shoulder and he's doing things that are new age. Yep. Haven't been proven, I guess you could say in a sense. Yeah. But um, I, I love that aspect. And I think that's why I, I, I think the world of you, Johnny, because I keep trying to, get to that level of, of uh, going through the storm, but living life at the same time. Yeah. And it's, it's tough. I mean, I, you know, I, I know not everybody's built for it, I guess, you know, just like not everybody's built to be an entrepreneur, or, you know, I mean, it just is what it is. Like some people just don't function well underneath that and that's fine. But, you know, for me, like I said, I think health is the number one aspect of what you should prioritize um you know obviously your family and everything is right there but you know like i said without your health you're not around so there is no family there is no job there is no nothing so that's why i prioritize that as number one if i can't take care of myself and i'm not healthy i can't take care of nobody else or if i am half ass i'm taking care of somebody else half ass or maybe a quarter of that so and i've got a lot of people depending on me so at this point like it's very important for me to be going all the time and that's what it is there's no time to stop um, you know, obviously, listen, like I said, I agree with you 100% on the aspect of whatever makes you happy, that determines how rich you are, right? If it's, listen, if it's a small house, who cares, but you have your family, you're making these memories, it's a happy time. Like, hey, listen, that that's that's wealth, man, for sure, 100%. Because like you said, you have all the money in the world, that doesn't make you happy, right? Money makes it easy. It makes it easier. It's not easy, but it makes it easier. But with more money comes more problems, like Biggie said. And it's so true. When I started the business, half the problems, not even a quarter of the problems, there ain't no spec on there. Obviously, you know, as you get bigger and all that, there's more problems that can arise, whether it's employees not showing up to work or this product getting taken away like peptides or whatever it is. And you just got, you got to roll through it. You can't dwell on it, right? You can't get emotional on that. That's not something to get emotional about. There's times to get emotional and there's times not to get emotional baby born, somebody dies, you find out the cancer, that's an emotional time, right? Handling business, you have different things that are coming at you, boom, 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 hey, listen, we're doing this, you can't do this, you got you got to come up with a resolution, you can't just flip out, oh, break down, you, you, you got to be non-emotional and be able to, to take in what's going on and to resolve that problem as best you possibly can and not procrastinate on it. I got to so, say this real quick, because I think this is great. Uh, Mario says, uh, creating art makes him happy. I love that. I love the artist. And, and, I, and, I, and I think that when, when, uh, when something is like, like bodybuilding and weightlifting is an art to me. Um, there, there, there's a, a beautiful creation of, of the brushes and stuff like that is the food. The weights is the sculpture. And so it's an artistic approach and it doesn't matter if you make money off of it or not. It's the, it's the struggle of doing it, which is such a cool thing. So I can appreciate the artist. Yeah. And I think back to the guys hundreds of years ago, the Michelangelo's and stuff who didn't have money, but right. created that art that will live forever. So it's, right. again, it's the, it's the individual. Yeah. Can he be happy within the life that they're living and stuff? Yeah. Um, regardless yeah. of the ups and downs, how crazy the world is right now because i i think the world is absolutely lost insane it, lost yes. in marbles um again uh no but everybody knows how i feel about who's running but can we stay balanced enough in our lives and and, and not let that distract us so much keep the focus on like johnny does family yeah. health and enjoying this kind of stuff so i would like everybody over the next couple of weeks to really focus on on just making sure your body is good you're healthy uh your blood work is done and you're caught up to everything because we're going to be launching a new workout plan and again if you're doing titan medical and your blood work is good and you're eating well and anything i can help you guys with when it comes to training and nutrition i'm here johnny's here for everything when it comes to the aspect of uh, taking care of your blood work, your health, or recommendations. Think about that too. Let's jump off of just your blood work, but your recommendations mm -hmm. on what you should do 
after you get your blood work and something is off. And Johnny said it earlier. You, you said if there's an right. issue, you can call. And I'm assuming you got issues all the time. Somebody yep. gets their blood and, and then they start something. And I'll give you an example because sure. there's a misconception sometimes or people don't watch themselves close enough. Um, I trained with a client yesterday. And uh, he also is a Titan medical uh, uh, client. Mm -hmm. And his testosterone was at 200. And his free was, again, down. Now, he is in his late 40s. Uh, so that's to be expected maybe for a lot of people. Uh, he's been on um, some stuff from Titan Medical for the last, I think, eight weeks. And his T level is now at 600. Great. For a guy that's almost 50, that's I think I think that's pretty darn good. Um, and his free testosterone is really good. He said there was no change to his energy. And that confused me. And I tried to have a real deep talk with him and saying, so you were the same at 200 that you are at 600. Mm -hmm. You're 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 nothing changed. Your sleep wasn't better. Your mood's not better. Your 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 body's not functioning better. And he kept coming back and saying, no, not really. And I that confused me. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, you were both, right? Yeah. I mean, I would like, listen, I want you to tell me who it is after this because I'll be honest with you guys. You know, 600 is okay, right? But if you're on TRT with us, it better be like eight or 900. It, as long as you're okay with the doses of the, the, the prescribing provider says, right? There's some people that say, listen, I don't want to start at that dose like 200 milligrams. Or, or whatever it is, right? And they go lower. So I want to figure out like who this guy is because I'm going to dial him and make sure he gets like eight or nine hundred. And then if he says he don't have better energy, then we got to look somewhere else. We got to look at vitamin D levels. We got to look at cortisol levels. I want to look and see what's going on because so could that, the only thing I came up with is I know guys that are naturally at nine hundred. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No. That's them just normal. So them saying, hey, I'm at 900, you would assume his energy would be crazy, but it's just right. how he is naturally. And and, right. and and a lot of people have talked about this already. A guy that's always at 400 and they feel healthy, then right. that's good. Right. Um, so for them to, if, if they're at their, to 400 and they're not feeling good then they maybe need to go to 900. Mm -hmm. the individual mm -hmm. that's at this thousand needs to go to that 15 i guess it was um right. but i just would wish people would when they do this stuff they would they would stay in touch mm -hmm. with their provider mm -hmm. and go hey i don't see a change because maybe this is one of those guys that needs to be at 800 900. right right okay. absolutely but instead He's going off numbers. Yeah, see, and, and you know, the other flip side to that is, is that if, if every 28 days, our people check with the person, the, the, the patient, right? And they ask them, first question, how are you feeling? Is everything going good? Is there any negative side effects? Can we do anything better? Do you have any other goals you want to achieve? Those are the five questions that are asked. So I need all patients to be very truthful with the people calling or texting them and say, no, it's not good. Like, all right, cool. Then we need to start breaking this down. Like, what's going on? Like, that's what we're here for. I mean, even if it's not the 28 days and it's 15 days in and there's something that's off, we want to know about it right away. Like, you don't have to wait till we contact you. We're open. So at that point, like, call, text us. We're going to give a response back and see what's going on. I mean, literally. I mean, you know, you can take advantage of that great support that you get. Um, you know, at that point, to make sure you're optimal. I mean, listen, I want everybody that's coming through Type Medical Center to get optimal results. And if not, if they're not getting optimal results, what's going on and how can we change this? You know, if, if we can't for some other reason, let's refund them all their money. So at least they listen, they don't feel like they've lost out on anything either. So, I, you know, I, I went into the to far aspects for people to make them feel, you know, like, hey, listen, they can contact us very easily. They get an answer very easily. If the need changes very easily. Because like you said, some people feel different in different doses. And if you don't feel good at that point, and we need to we need to rectify, we need to tweak some different things so we can get to the bottom and get you feeling good. Don't go off the numbers. Don't go off the numbers. Right. 
again, this is it's it's you, the individual. You're different than everybody else. This guy, and, and again, it was it was me talking to him, and it frustrated me a little bit because I'm trying to I was trying to get him to answer the questions I was asking, right. and uh, it, and it was just it was flatlined the whole time. And I'm like, all right, I I can't I can't help you. There's nothing yeah. I can for you until you look at yourself. Right. Uh, you're walking around with 200. What was the point of you wanting to get on if you're so great? And was he on? Mm-hmm. And he's on his regimen now. Was it? But 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 the point, is, like I was sorry. He, if you were at 200, why did you start? So there was a number right. that you go. Okay, I did my blood work. My number's low. So there's issues. There's there's going to be issues later on in life, especially if you're 50 and that right. low. So you want to right. make sure you take care of that just to stay healthy. Um, mm-hmm. really analyze it and go, what well, is it 600 and I'm fine? Or am I still tired and sluggish at 600 and I'm that individual that needs to be at 900? Yeah, that's not yep. for me to say. I have no, no, no uh, pony in this fight here. This is, again, you talking to your medical provider and saying, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I don't feel much of a change. Energy is the same, stuff like that. Then. Let's make sure that we get you where we think that you should be and at least try to be there. Right. That's the great that's thing about numbers. Yeah. And, and it's not all just numbers. numbers. Yeah, that's a great point. Like even us, like our providers just don't look at the numbers. Like if we did that, like it would be like a robot. We look at numbers and we correlate how your symptoms are and how your health history is. We depend on what your regimen's going to be. This is an all inclusive picture that we look at. And make sure that we look at every aspect to make sure that we're not missing out on anything. You know, you have to do something like that. And we just went off the numbers. I mean, it'd be really, really simple, but that that wouldn't be the best for everybody out there. Definitely not, for sure. Because there are people that don't have symptoms at 530, and there are people that do have symptoms at 530. And you want to correct those symptoms if they're having problems. Like, it's not good for a mid-30-year-old to have erectile dysfunction, be lethargic, and have no motivation. As a male, like this is these are key aspects for us. And during that time, you're building to the best of your life, pretty much. I mean, your 30s, I think, are the best time in your lives, right? I mean, 40s have been pretty good so far for me. You've lived through them, so you look great, 40, 50, you know. But you know, I I think 30s and 40s are you know probably that sweet spot. 40s middle age. So 30s is gonna be that, hey, I'm not young 20s. And I'm starting to get into that mature 40 year old aspect. So, you know, I mean, at that point, you should be living your life to, to the max. You should be maxing out your career or, or making those steps in your career, whatever it is, to be your best. And then you should be, if you haven't found a wife or, or, or anything like that, I mean, you know, you'll probably be a good time, you know, to, to start stepping in that line so you don't have, you know, so you have a family and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I, I would want to perform. I, in my 30s, I was definitely performing. I mean, I was on testosterone replacement in my 30s because, you know, at that point I found out I was low and it was a game changer. The best way that I could describe to somebody, two different ways. One, it was like opening the blinds and seeing the light for the first time. You've been in this dark room and man, you look like, man, boom. Or the car situation, because I always go back to cars. You're driving a 1995 Cadillac and that thing is a cream puff that took care of it. You want to put a thousand miles on it. And now you've just jumped into a 2024 Cadillac. You're like, whoa, heat seaters, cooling, augmented reality. I can see that. I mean, just wow. Like that's kind of the aspects of what I would say. And, you know, those are the big changes. If you don't need testosterone, you're not going to see the big changes. You're just not. If you're at 800 already and you're taking mega doses, yeah, you might throw on some more muscle and stuff like that. But it's not going to change the way that you feel for sure. Yeah, and Johnny and me have talked about this too. If, if you're at that age that you don't need it, don't do it. Right. Don't do it. Don't yeah. miss it. Just for anybody out there that's that's wondering, should you go down that adventure? Uh, and your body is working right, and you're at that age that everything's working perfectly. Do not do it. Yeah. There's there's no point to do that. It, there's there's things that Titan Medical does have. That will help you like the uh the aminos the hercules potion um glutathione uh possibly if if you're one of these people that continues to get sick and stuff and and so many other things um but yeah 
don't don't play around with it. And then for all of you that are just curious about your health, again, it's not an old person thing. It's in especially nowadays. Get yeah. your blood work done. Find out what your baseline is, uh, and then hold on to that paperwork. Yeah, yeah. Do things the right way, and especially you know your big example for your kids too as well. Um, I just this is a story right before I left town. Peter had his like because he's back and he's able to, to hit now. And he's gonna be on his throwing program, so I'm like, yes, he's excited, super excited. So we're at this lesson, and of course these guys are XMLBs are teaching him and stuff like that, and they've got a ton of other clients. And the, the coach pulls me aside, tells Peter to go, you know, start warming up. And um, he tells me, hey, listen, I got this dad over there. And his, his first son plays with Toronto. He's a right-handed pitcher. I'm like, all right, cool. Well, his brother's 15 years old. And I guess the scouts want to sign him. But the scouts said that he needs a bigger body. And they said they'd sign him to maybe a, a million-dollar contract, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, basically his dad's asking the other guy, listen, why well, juice up his kid to get him to grow? I'm like, absolutely not. Like, that's not – that's not – that." That's not what you want to do for your kid. Like even Peter's like, Peter's like, yeah, do it, do it. Because if you can see what works on him, then you can use it on me. I'm like, absolutely not. I'm like, I know it works. I know how to juice somebody up. That's fine. There's no way I'm going to do that to some kid and ruin his whole life going forward. Because he's always going to have to be on it, Peter. You know, these kids, they, they see these different aspects. And even my kid, like, you know, he's talking about trend. And like, I'm like, where the hell are you going to hear this? It's all over the internet. Everybody knows where it is. Everybody knows about steroids and, and all this. And, you know, it's just, it's crazy because, you know, these kids are looking for instant gratification shortcuts because they want to get bigger, but they don't want to put in the work. They don't want to eat the food. I mean, listen, this is something you're going to have to do. Even if you want to get bigger and you're going to use performance enhancing drugs, you're going to have to eat and you're going to have to train and you have to do the right things. If not, it's going to be sloppy weight and you're going to look like crap. And at that point, you're going to ruin what you have going on, natural testosterone levels, your fertility issues and all the things going forward. So it's just not worth it to use unless you need it. There's other things that you can utilize, especially as kids, maybe creatine, maybe some different aspects of vitamins and such. But at that point, like, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a horrible thing that, you know, you got parents out there that are juicing up their kids. And of course they look at my son and my son's huge. And of course they get the question all the time, what are you giving Peter? Is Peter on Titan? I'm like, absolutely not. Like if you guys I, haven't seen his son, his son's bigger than me. So, and so he, I mean, he just turned 15. So, yeah, you know, so it's just, it's just crazy. Like, of course, I know what to do. I know it would work, right? But there's no way that I would put my kid in jeopardy for the issues that he could have moving forward with his health. I'd rather him not go to the MLB, be healthy, and be good instead of juicing him up. I think you and I agree on this aspect. Uh, if if you need it, 100% do it. If you don't need it, 100% don't do it. There's no middle right. ground on this. Not a black and white thing for me. It's just, there's no gray area. This is right. It's removed. If your body needs it, yes. If your body doesn't need it, absolutely not. Yeah. Um, it's not something to play around with, too. And it just no. seems like uh, it is to the, the people that read it and, and the ones that haven't read enough or understand the consequences, they really do think it's a game. Yeah, I know. They really do. It's like goes in Venice. It's just like, hey, how old are you? 21. Ah, get jacked. Jump on it. It's like, yep, yep. wow, you just, that's it. That's all you need to do that. And it's like, we've talked about this numerous times that that's not yeah, what we're man. here to do. That's not what we're here to help. We're helping people that just want to optimize and get them back to healthy. Yep. Yep. That's, that's definitely what it is, man. And, you know, like I said, do it for yourself. Do the right thing. Do it for your kids. Do the right thing. I mean, you know, I mean, it'll be a lot better all the way around, I think, for you and for your kid if you, you want to be healthy, right? I mean, teach them, you know, teach them the right way. Like, it's the biggest thing that people don't teach their kids, nutrition, because they probably don't know it themselves. Half of them, no training, I guess. I'll give them that, do the activity, make them go outside, train with them, along with them. And that's another aspect that I really look forward to, you know, and sharing that time in the gym with Peter and stuff like that. So it, it's just a, it's a big one. For me for sure 100 and the peptides have helped me be able to train people ask how i train with my shoulder the way it is yeah and you know right now i have bpc 157 and tb 500 you know these peptides listen I, I i was just on the phone with a pharmacy today and you know like they've got like these different people they're not government agencies these are lobbyists that are going after these pharmacies 
and they're they're trying to get they're trying to slap like these board of pharmacies on these people and they're like they're like specifically targeting these pharmacies which is really crazy so some of these pharmacies are, are going to quit some of these peptides in the future you know next month or two months or so um but some of them are going to get replaced so i did hear a couple of the different things that are going to be coming out so peptide wise bpc the way it is there's going to be a different version with a change of molecule same thing same product but just one molecule change so thank god for that tb500 yeah. they have not found a that's some great news today how did you not start this whole conversation with that come on <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, but you know, I mean, and that's another one. So the other big one out there that, that's coming out is a GHRH peptide that'll be pretty good. That will replace CJC and IPA would be um, Semarellin and Hexarellin. So Semarellin is an old GHRH from before it's FDA approved, so it's never going away. And then Hexarellin was like a GHRP uh, two or six, so it's going to combine really good with those. Tesserellin is going to always be around, so that's a good one. Um, MK will be gone here very shortly. Uh, GHK Copper gone. Um, you know, so the, the the trick is is find some of these different things, and we're making some different variations. So hopefully, we'll be able to play some of these different things, and hopefully, come out with new ones because there's a lot more peptides out there. We just got to start replacing some of the different ones that we have that we know that work very well. So it's a it's a crazy world we live in. Yeah, definitely crazy. I still feel that it's just them trying to make money off of something trying to govern oh, it much for sure they don't want people having peptides peptides work peptides are not dangerous I pe i've been injecting peptides for over 10 years myself and peptides have done nothing but benefit my quality of life from my shoulder which i inject every day still and that's one thing i think that gets me by and it makes me able to train every day or at least three to four times a week and um you know i i said there's other ones out there like mot c and stuff like that that have worked very well for patients that they're going to possibly be gone too as well. But Mozzi has a replacement coming too. Oh, it does. Okay, so that's going to be yes. good. Great. Yeah. A couple Great. replacements. So I'll be updating you guys as I get the update. But that's kind of the update that I got today. So it's kind of crazy. So uh, there's a question here. We'll kind of finish on this one. Um, a 53-year-old, and he's probably late to this conversation because we kind of talked about how numbers are irrelevant. Uh, it's all dependent on the person. Uh, this guy is 53 years old. He would like to know what a good T level would be for 53. Sure. So no matter what your age is, 18 to let's say 65 years old, if you're getting a blood test at LabCorp, the natural range is between 264 and 916. So it really doesn't matter. Like, what do you think a good level is? Right. Because when we talked about it earlier, some people feel good at one level and some people feel good at another. But I mean, if you were to say, listen, what's a roundabout number that's good for a 53 year old that I would see through blood test? I guess maybe five, 600 is what I've seen. Now there are other people like Clark that might be like 900, in the, but that's like super unheard of. Guys. So I don't rare. see six years old or six years old at 900. I just don't see it. Like I don't see it at all. All right. Usually it's between two, three, and 400 is what I see in a majority of blood tests. And then I'll see the 500s and then maybe 600s on some people, um, unless they're really, really young. And then I might see a 700 or 800. But I don't see those very commonly. Majority of people from 25 to 60, let's say, are going to be between two and 400. And they usually are symptomatic. And that's why they usually call us because they, they start checking the boxes. Man, I, I don't have energy. I, I'm lethargic. Uh, no motivation, ED, and at that point, you know, body's not changing at all. So if you work out and you're doing the right things, let's say for a whole month, you should see some sort of change. At two months, if you're really not seeing change, there's something else that's underlining that's heating back or adhering or not, you're not getting your, your, your results. So at that point, like, that's when you should be like, all right, well, maybe I need to get this checked out. Because I know people that are doing the right thing at 200 and they don't see anything change. You don't see the scale change, the body doesn't change, clothing doesn't change, and they're just frustrated all the hell. And they're like, why am I even doing this? I'm busting my ass and I'm sacrificing my good food for what? I'm not getting any result. And that's when you got to look at some of the different things and then you see that maybe these different things are off. And then once those things are improved, 
it's like a race car. Once you dial it in, and you're gonna run, you're gonna run the best lap that you have ever in your life. So at that point, the fastest, the best. So that's really what it is: testing, tuning, and getting it right where you need to be. Yeah, I, I agree with everything you're saying, man. So for you guys out there, uh, I, I know for a fact that this week's uh, peptide of the week is L-carnitine injectable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I know that uh, I just got my my box yesterday and yes. uh, I'm looking through there for the L-carnitine because it is that time again. Um, we just got uh, word that uh, uh, Magazine Dreams will be coming out later this year. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I got to be I got to be ready for that red carpet action. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that's awesome. L-carnitine is something, again, that's not going to go away. That's there. A lot yeah. of these potion. Um, yeah. And again, uh, Jeffrey's the one that uh, said do the uh, the double dose of Hercules. Yes. <laughs> um, what else we got going on over there this week? We got the that's blood this week. Blood this week we have the L-carnitine uh, discount, and, and that's it. So that amino acid is great for a lot of different things. If you guys don't know what L-carnitine does, L-carnitine is great for, one, for energy production, right? Two, um, it will help with the nervous system. And three, if you're on TRT or HRT, it helps with angio receptors. So at that point, like it will help complement your TRT, HRT, and it'll help you out in the gym too as well in many different aspects. Amino acids are so vital to the system with non-essential and essential. And I cover this in my live, you know, non-essential, you're good, but essential, you have to get these from some sort of place, whether it's food or some sort of supplementation. And I, ha I, I will run the gambit of amino acid testing on anybody that wants to do it, but I haven't seen anybody come back super high on their amino acids, anybody that I blood tested. Only on maybe one or two different aspects, not all of them. Right. So I haven't seen anybody truly optimized on some of on, on all of them. On some of them, yes, for sure. Mike has done. I've well, done mine. You got um, one more minute to talk because I, I want to go over this. That was something sure. that was really shocking to me on my latest blood work. Yeah. I, guys, I I try to optimize myself fully, and I'll take my glutamines and my I'm, I'm on my Hercules potion. I want all this, and I'm still in a good range when it comes to my amino acids. And I'm sitting here going, man, I thought I was taking tenfold on what my body could utilize. Yeah. Wow, blew me away yeah. that it comes back to I'm just doing okay. Yeah. And it's like. I try to do the very, very best I can. I don't want to do just okay. And so right. it's amazing to me. Um, so if you guys, I, it's a very interesting uh, blood work. It might be a little bit more expensive, 20, 30. I don't know what the price is, but get the full amino acid lineup blood test as well to yes. find out what you're deficient in on those aspects. Um, I don't know why I didn't talk about this earlier. So that's cool. a great part of the blood test that they can do at Titan Medical. So don't ask, how would they request it? How would they go about going, hey, I don't want just the basic blood work. I would like sure. to get this. Mike did his amino acid breakdown. Yeah. And that's all you have to ask for. Say, I want to get the amino acid panel thrown on there. Or I want to get a cortisol panel thrown on there. Because a lot of people, they might not even know what this stuff is. So, yeah, I mean, if there's a certain blood test that maybe you want, if we offer it, just ask. And we can add that blood test on there for you. So at that point, when you go into the lab, you're getting drawn one time and you're getting all these different tests back. And you can utilize this information to, to look. Hey, listen, the supplements I'm taking right now, let me see how good they are from this brand, right? And we run those supplements. And when we see on blood, hey, listen, this didn't come back too good. Or man, this, this really worked very well. I did it with an oral vitamin D, right? Because... I'm totally against oral supplementation. Just sorry, guys. Like, I know injectable works better, so I'd rather go that route. But at that point, like, I'm like, listen, if I if I can hold back and not take a vitamin D injection and I can really get an oral supplementation that works through blood work, then at that point, I'll do that. And one, one of our athlete, other athletes told me about this vitamin D supplement. She said, man, it works really well. I said, well, we'll see. I blood tested. I was below the normal range on my my, my bare bones panel on my baseline. And I took it for, I don't know, two or three weeks. I took it for two or three weeks. I was above where I needed to be, like 20 points higher. I was like, okay. I was like, this works. I was like, then I can recommend this to somebody else. So it, it's good because you really will know if things are working or not working through blood. Effect. Oh, man. this. Is... 
I think, oh, we didn't lose Johnny, did we? You know, especially this wasn't offered before, and then you'd have to just guess what supplements were the best, right? Yeah. And this this way you can actually look and say, listen, this is really working really good, and I'll stick with it. And then I'll find the other ones to mix in these other numbers. But if you're optimal amino acids, those are building blocks of protein, right? So you know, essentially to build more muscle, you're going to need amino acids, and those sequences – I generate so many other different things, like some of these peptides that we're talking about. So really, really cool stuff. To build this is around. I'm glad this is available to us now, especially for yeah. how I live my life and how I'm trying to uh, 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 manage the decline the very best I possibly yep. can. And, and so I'm excited yep. about that and being able to do that. And so I'm going to stay with the amino breakdown, too, because I'm so curious on how much I, how much EAAs, how much uh, glutamine, how much uh, citrus, all these things I'm so curious about. But also, yeah. I'm excited for Titan in 15 years on, on man, man. you know, making sure that he's taking the right vitamins, the right amino acids at that young age to make sure he's continuously yeah. growing the way he's growing. Um, and I know yeah. that you're excited about Peter. Um, if we got to keep the leash off somewhat, don't let him go too crazy. But it, it's been, yes. you guys are lucky out there to have something like this available to you right now. So jump right. on over to Titan Medical today. I got to let Johnny go. He's already he's already on the next meeting. You can see him right now, already <laughs> on the phone. Buddy, welcome back. Glad to be back, and thank you for having me today. I appreciate working with me today. Our normal day is Tuesday, but, you know, with traveling every day, especially traveling yesterday, I appreciate it very much. So glad to be back, dude. Glad to be back. I'm glad to talk with you for sure. Thanks, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. For everybody that's out.